Keto Kitchen, Keto Naturopath Kitchen. It's the fall here in North Carolina. The temperature's gone down a lot in the past few days. It's 67 degrees here and I'm absolutely freezing. I can't believe in, back in New England, 67 degrees, I'd be in shorts and a t-shirt, but here I've been wearing sweats for the past couple days. So it's gotten cooler. And I mentioned before that I'd started crocheting again, again after like 35 years and people said, well, show us some of the things you made. Well, one of the things, since I can't eat candy corn, I made a little candy corn. And I think this is so cute. So I've been making a lot of Halloween and Thanksgiving fall type of things. I have made sweaters, I have made shawls, I've made a couple of blankets, but I'll be showing you some of my fall themed items that I've been doing and it's been a lot of fun. But today I'm making a keto pumpkin cheesecake muffins. They're absolutely delicious. It's the pumpkin time of year so we're going to be doing pumpkin for a while. So you start off with softened cream cheese, eight ounces of cream cheese and a tablespoon of butter softened. And then we mix those up with your hand mixer. You mix it up till it's light and fluffy. To that you add one egg. Oops, got shell in there. A quarter of a teaspoon of liquid stevia. You can use granular stevia if you want. I'd start off with maybe a tablespoon. So I'm using maple flavored stevia because later on it asks for a quarter of a teaspoon of maple flavor. But I thought I would use maple flavored stevia instead. And I'm not going to add too much because I don't really like sweet things. And you're going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla. This is vanilla that I made myself. And some day I'll show you all of the things that I have making, all the extracts I've been making. Well, that's a little more than a quarter of a teaspoon. And then you're going to have a half a tea. Again, I said, uh, uh, if you don't have maple stevia, add a quarter of a teaspoon of maple flavor. Add a half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice. I make my own. But during COVID, it was really hard to find pumpkin spice. So I started making my own. And I actually like mine better. And then also add 60 grams or about a quarter of a cup of canned pumpkin. Make sure it's just pumpkin, not pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. Um, Cans have sugar in them. So then you just mix this all really well. So you mix it until there are no lumps of cream cheese. That's why I uh, increased the speed because a lower speed wasn't doing it fast enough. And there you have the batter. I have my oven preheating to 325 degrees. I have these silicone muffin tins. This makes about five or six, depending on how much you fill it. I might make a little less. I'm just squirting the um, muffin tins with, uh, that's olive oil. But last time I made this, um, they stuck to the bottom and it might've been because I didn't let it cool enough. If you don't have silicone, um, then you might want to use muffin liners. I want to make these a little more full, so I'm only going to make five today. So this is great when you want some cheesecake, but you don't want to make a whole cheesecake. You can freeze these, so you can make them and freeze them. And whenever you feel like having a pumpkin cheesecake, just take one out of the freezer. I'm going to bake these for 15 to 20 minutes depending on your oven. They will be a little jiggly in the middle, but just don't overcook them. I'm going to put these in the oven. I'm going to start with 15 minutes. Then when you take them out of the oven, you want to let them cool and then refrigerate them for an hour or two before you eat them. So I'm going to put them in for 15 minutes. I'm going to take them out, let them cool. Then I'm going to put them in the refrigerator and then We'll be back to taste them. I cannot wait. 
was time to try my pumpkin spice cheesecake muffins. I had the, I took them out of the oven, let them cool, and then I actually put the uh, put them in the refrigerator in the muffin tin for a couple hours so that they would completely cool and get cold and would be easier to take out of the muffin tins, which they were. I also want to say I don't like my cheesecake with a crust. If you want a crust, you can. There are a couple of options. Maybe some um, pork rinds with a little bit of butter and a little bit of cin cinnamon and sweetener. Put that on the bottom. You could also do crushed pecans with a little bit of butter and sweetener on the bottom. I actually prefer no crust on mine. So time to taste. Mm, I can't wait. I love cheesecake. Mm. It's so creamy with a taste of pumpkin and pumpkin pie spice. Perfect for when you just want a little bit and not a whole big cheesecake. Enjoy.